the post. Remember, you can join the conversation via all our social media handles at Joy News on TV. You can also uh, tweet at us with the hashtag The Pulse. My personal handle is Adanana Aisha. Now, on Monday, the Electoral Commission took on the NDC leadership, accusing them, especially John Mahama, of attempts to denigrate its reputation by falsely alleging voter fraud during the 2020 presidential and parliamentary elections. Mr. Mahama, among other things, alleges that the EC stuffed ballot papers into boxes to aid a rigging plot. The commission yesterday, did, uh, on Monday, did not take it kindly to those allegations and demanded a police investigation into the matter. The first issue the Electoral Commission responded to was the issue about the EC printing about one million ballot papers in favor of the governing NPP. We are of the view that our silence on this false allegation could have dire consequences at as it could undermine citizens' confidence in our dear country. The former president has said the EC Tom printed one million ballot papers in favor of the uh, president of the republic. This is untrue. This is a grave matter that undermines the credibility of our electoral process and should not be ignored. We call on him to provide evidence to support this claim. This is not a matter uh, that should be ignored, and we call on the Ghana Police Service to investigate. The transparency of our process makes it totally impossible for this to happen. At the polling stations, prior to the start of the elections, the empty ballot boxes are opened and displayed in the presence of everyone, including the political party agents, and thereafter they are sealed in the presence of everyone. There are serial numbers on the ballot papers for each region and constituency. This is made known to the agents before the elections, and the political parties also know this. Our ballot papers also have security features, so any trace of new material will be clearly visible. Again, at the end of the poll, the ballots cast are cross-checked against the voters who were verified and issued the ballot papers. This ensures that overvoting is detected immediately. Because if at the center 20 people were issued the ballots, we expect that the ballot box will contain uh, 20. Nationwide, we had no issue with overvoting at all the 38,622 polling stations, except in Savelugu in the parliamentary election, where there was one, and I repeat, one overvoting. The transparency of our processes from the beginning to the end makes this impossible. Ballot staffing cannot be done. It is just impossible. We also raised concerns about the allegation that the declaration of the results was influenced by the military. Again, the answer from the EC is false. I'm doing the post, the number of violence were recorded. You can particular mention as the Tetman South uh, electoral violence and also even in the do deal. Well, particular mention was given to Tetman South uh, um, electoral violence. The electoral commission says it cannot be blamed for the violence that characterize uh, the elections at the coalition center within the area. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, once more, the former president has accused the EC of being responsible for the violence that took place at Tetman. We state for the records that the violence was not caused as a result of the EC or its staff. More importantly, the EC is not responsible for security as the former president sought to portray. Nowhere in our laws or in the constitution, security one of the functions of the EC. To lay security lapses at the doorstep of the EC is unfortunate. While we sympathize with the family members of the deceased, we reject any attempt to associate violence with us. Again, we call on the former president in the interest of our democracy to provide evidence that the EC orchestrated uh, the violence. Finally, the Electoral Commission says it does not account to presidential candidates, and what they do is to account to Ghanaians through the representatives in parliament. And so it is never true that the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, that is Madame Jin Meng Sam, is running away from accountability. We have on several occasions said the former president stated that the chairperson has been running away from accountability. This is false. The EC is an institution. Aside for the former president to equate the entire institution to the chairperson, it's an attempt to malign her and cause disaffection for her. As an institution, we account to the good people of Ghana through the Special Budget Committee of Parliament, and we have done so, and we report regularly. We do not account to individuals. We do not account to presidential candidates. 
the Constitution does not permit that. Furthermore, Supreme Court, the Supreme Court is not the platform for the EC. It's not the platform for the EC to account to the people of Ghana. As far as elections are concerned, the Supreme Court is a court for settling presidential election disputes. Well, the NDC actually wants that to happen. They want the police to investigate the matter. This afternoon, we'll seek answers on what uh, the NDC seeks to do with this claims and its concerns uh, regarding the election of 2020. Will they welcome calls for investigation into the claims the leader made whilst on the thank you tour? In the studio with me is General Secretary of the NDC, General Asiedun Nketia. I'm grateful that you were able to make it. Thank you very much. Now, first of all, um, I want us to, let me ask you, has the police invited you yet? In fact, we rather want the police to invite the Electoral Commission and the management of InnoLink Printing Press to conduct criminal investigations into their conduct during the printing of ballot papers for the 2020 elections. Okay. We were hesitant to report the matter to the police because, you know, Indolink is a fledgling business, one of the few security printers we have. And I want to believe that they take printing contracts from elsewhere in the sub-region because Ghana is known for security printing. So matters like this, if they escalate, can affect the business interests of Indolink. Mm. But, uh, we thought that administrative measures will be taken to address the issue. So far, no such administrative measure has been taken. And uh, InnoLink has allowed the Electoral Commission to use this as an opportunity to malign us, our, our uh, uh, refusal or failure to escalate the matter to be a weakness on our part. Mm -hmm. Uh, we think that we will change our decision and ensure that uh, the police are brought in to actually find out who was culpable because the issues are not controvertible at all. Okay. The fact that InnoLink printed more than one million ballot papers after the process has concluded and all material had been evacuated from their premises. All excess material had been destroyed with a certificate of destruction issued. Mm. And for them to proceed to print further materials, which we discovered just by accident, mm. and for which reason, Electoral Commission had to issue a second you know, certificate of destruction. We think that it is a very grievous uh, criminal offense. Mm. And Electoral Commission is complicit in what happened because the statement they issued last night seemed to suggest that they actively want to stage a cover-up. In fact, the certificate of destruction which was issued, uh, which was shown by Electoral Commission, mm was actually the second certificate of destruction when they were caught red-handed mm. and they tried to justify the federal printing, okay. which justification could not fly. They had to eat humble pie mm. to allow us to go and destroy the extra material that was printed. The fact that they were printing after a certificate of destruction had been issued on the 20th, Mm -hmm. And the material, all the materials had been dispatched to the regions. Okay. And then we come to catch you, pants down, having printed more than one million extra ballot papers after the impression has been created that all the, uh, you know, uh, 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 documents have been cleared. Mm -hmm. It's clearly a criminal offense. Why didn't you raise that at the, I mean, the Supreme Court? Because the Electoral Commission accuses you no, of not being no, no. able the, to the provide issues those we evidence. Sent, the issues we sent to Supreme Court did not involve printing of ballot papers. But if they were part of the mishaps that happened during the elections, why are well, you, you not didn't, You didn't need that printing. 
to prove any case there. It's a it's a criminal offense on its own okay. that could have been handled. And you decided for instance, to when we went to the Supreme it? Court, we did not we did not uh, carry along issues about voter registration and so on. The fact that. Uh, 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 two registers were, were used during the election because the, when the filing of nominations was taking place, the final register, the new register had not been finalized. So technically, the nominations were filed based on the old register. Okay. And then you come to hold elections based on the new register. That in itself was problematic. Mm. And it runs counter to the same ECOWAS protocols that President Kufuado has been flaunting all over in Guinea and other places. Mm. You know, mm. President Kufuado has been calling on the Guinean military leader to hand over because of ECOWAS protocol. The same ECOWAS protocol says that you cannot even change any electoral law mm. within six months to the elections. Mm. But Three months to the election, you were still changing electoral but Mr. Uh, law. Uh, on so those things were not ballot. part. Those things were not part of the case we sent to court. Okay. But now that they are, they are even challenging the obvious. Mm. That is why I'm saying that we are going to carry it out as a very serious matter. But, but if you had all this, these evidence and you caught them red-handed that they've printed all these, why didn't you report the matter to the police? I, so I, now I thought I had explained this earlier, and I told you that. That, uh, you know, in no links business, we thought that uh, you know we but could protect it's a, if business it's a and criminal so on. But matter, now that now that, that no such because they could have taken administrative action. For instance, if it is not a company policy to engage in that fraud, they could have descended on the staff who were involved, sack them, or electoral commission by itself. Would have, could have dropped Inolink from their list of printers, then we know that they are not complicit in what happened. None of this has happened. Uh, and then the Electoral Commission will have the off f to now come out to deny an activity we caught them red-handed on. So that is you, what you is you prompting didn't us You didn't now. want the but staff to, be, to crime, suffer for all of this. No, no, so we you, are not talking about the staff. We are saying that... To be we are saying, I'm saying that the staff could have been dealt with by InnoLink okay. to protect their international image. Okay. They haven't done that. Mm -hmm. Electoral Commission could have delisted InnoLink as one of their main contractors. Mm -hmm. They haven't done that. So if and then it, they the now way. get up. Electoral Commission itself now gets up to deny the fact that this activity happened. Ma it now opens the door for us mm. to press criminal charges Ma against InnoLink and whoever they are My point is that if InnoLink did not see it as important to actually come out to clear its name, why are you considering their business and not reporting my, my a sister, criminal matter? My sister, there is no expiry date for crime. We are going to pursue this matter. But Trust sometimes me. they say a I'm child saying, nerd, so I'm I mean, saying that there is, no, there is we no are ten months after date, elections. There is no expiry date for crime. None of the criminal activities that took place during the election has been prosecuted as we, as we sit here now. Mm. Even government has not prosecuted anybody. Okay. So there is no expiry date for crime. Okay. So the management of Inolink should take it from us mm. that there's a big trouble ahead of them. Because, you see, yesterday, uh, Electoral Commission sought to whitewash that criminal activity by craftily displaying the certificate of destruction dated 25th. Okay. The printing ended before 20th. And the certificate of destruction, I think the printing ended around 19th. Mm. And the certificate of destruction was issued on the 20th. I have those two certificates here. And InnoLink, as far as I could remember, is the only company at whose promises two certificates had been issued. Okay. Why? Because the first one was issued and we were lied to that all the material had been destroyed. The molds 
for printing have all been destroyed in our presence and we all signed to it. Mm. For us to go and see that you are involved in extra printing. Okay. After all those ballot papers have been dispatched to the various uh, regions okay. and constituencies. Mm. And then you discover that Inoling had printed more than one million ballot papers for presidential alone, mm. uh, designed for Ashanti region alone. Yeah. So, so, when do you so it tells you that this is a well orchestrated and well rehearsed plan of criminal conduct. When do you intend, so we will, we will pursue it. When do you intend to uh, go to the police? We will be, ad we will be addressing a press conference sometime tomorrow. And okay. then we will, we will proceed. Uh, let, so it, uh, the facts are not in controversy at all. Uh, so you show, have the evidence. Yes, I can show you the two okay. certificates. I, that, I, I think that will be for the police to deal with. No, you can show it. In this matter. Because yesterday, they showed the certificate of destruction, one. Okay. And you need to show the two and ask them why did they issue two certificates of destruction. It's very, very important. Okay. So I you think understand? this is something <laughs> yeah. that the police very, is very and interested the, the to The image interrogate. of Joy FM has been brought into disrepute because the second destruction was witnessed <laughs> by Joy. How? In fact, if you look at the <laughs> Electoral Commission statement, they are impugning the integrity of the Joy FM reporters and calling on Joy FM to bring your reporters to book. Asking. Yes, it is in their statement. You okay, have the, the, the statement they issued yesterday. Yes, yes. We'll, we'll deal with that yes, one. We'll but but, but there are other issues that they refuted, including yeah. mm -hmm. uh, the fact that uh, the former president, Mahama, talked mm -hmm. about um, the East, blaming the EC for military, uh, what happened at Techiman. Mm -hmm. But you can't blame the EC for uh, military, uh, any mishap with security. <laughs> Who else? Uh, because um, you could see that the EC uh, officials were doing their job and your people your officers they didn't uh, had issues if they had issues there were processes i mean in the end there were shooting and people died and ballot <laughs> boxes flying over and here and there so it's security problem not easy problem where is the where do you draw the line before before we go on you see this is the certificate the first certificate of disposal. Yes. And by, this by is the, our copy. Okay. You see that it is a duplicate. Okay. This is our copy. And it's dated 20th of November 2020. Mm -hmm. This was where the printing had been closed. Okay. And we were made to sign this one with the belief that all the, you know, spoiled material and whatever, including the molds, I, were going to be destroyed, and in fact, they were destroyed in our presence. Mm. Then we go and apprehend you printing another set. And then you now accepted to go and destroy the one we caught you and, printing. And this is the And this when? is 25th of November. Okay, five days. Five clear days after, after we had closed and you were still printing. Okay, but, but, so, Electoral Commission craftily was. Brandishing this certificate, but, that this is the certificate. Mr. Kesha, do you agree that, that if you had brought in the police at the moment, at that time that this happened, maybe the EC I'm wouldn't be holding this? When you have conference. so many issues to deal with, you choose which one is of priority okay. and deal with that one first. All right. And as I have indicated to you, there is no expiry date for crime. Mm. So so far, the delay has even as uh, has even given us. Um, opportunity to now believe that InnoLink itself is not prepared to take any action against the staff who were involved, meaning yes. that this is endorsed by the company. Okay. We also believe that Electoral Commission has also endorsed what happened because so far they have not delisted InnoLink from their list of printers. Mm. So it now gives us space to proceed. OK. Uh -huh. But let's come to uh, the issue. issue you raised about security and all that. Have you tried to find out who is in charge of security at the polling station? Mm. It is the presiding officer of the Electoral Commission 
okay. who is in charge of security during election day at the polling station. Why? If the Electoral Commission is not in charge of security, why should their presiding officer be the boss of security at the polling station? Mm -hmm. And in fact, if the presiding officer directs that even a party agent should be removed from the place, the police takes instruction from the presiding officer. Okay. So issues about security cannot be delinked from the Electoral Commission. Mm. But, okay. but are when you come to yes. presiding, when you come to returning officer at the, at the uh, you know, collation center, mm. the returning officer can give instructions that this person should be evacuated from here, that person should be evacuated from here. Okay. That is electoral commission function. Okay. But above all, why was the shooting not happening in Techman Market, for instance? Huh? Okay. If you are, you, you, are, you are trying to cheat somebody uh, by not going by the rules. Okay. So, and at that so moment, that's what I wanted to find. Are there moment, procedures? Yes, there you, are you, procedures. You, you, but Electoral Commission began flouting those procedures. And they are in charge of the security there. Mm. So there is nothing you can do apart from protesting to draw attention to the whole nation that something wrong was happening. And then they used the police to shoot at the protesters. Mm. So how can Electoral Commission now come out to say that they are not culpable? Did you watch the video when I led a team to talk to the presiding officer for Techman staff? Yes, I did. To demand our copy of the collation sheets. Mm. Bosman, when he was talking, was he not referring to their rules? Mm -hmm. Do their rules not provide that a party to the elections is entitled to a, a, a copy of the, of the collation sheet. Mm. Now, so the issue is not about lack of rules. So to hold a press conference and be repeating your rules, you are not proving anything. Everybody wants to abide by the rules. The problem is happening because your own staff mm. do not want to play by the rules of the game. So if you go out preaching the rules, you are not communicating. Tell us how come that your staff did not allow the rules of the game to be followed. The, the matter is in court, right? Which matter? The Techman issue. The criminality is nowhere in any court. Okay. So we can discuss the criminality. Okay. So, and let me tell you also. But I just wanted an update on what I Yes, it is in court. In it court. is in court. In fact, trial is going to begin on 16th of November. Okay. Trial is going to begin on 16th. And mm -hmm. we keep on saying that the Tejima court case is a needless exercise. Mm -hmm. This is something, if the Electoral Commission was sufficiently neutral, mm -hmm. they could have declared the results because the data is there, everything is there by your own listen. So what uh, Bosman was repeating, He's not communicating to anybody. Mm. If you have the rules and you don't go by the rules, and people want to press you to go by the rules and you use the police to kill those people, mm. you cannot come out to say that because of the existence of the rules, nobody can cheat. Mm. So the problem is not about the absence of the rules. The problem is about electoral commissions, non-preparedness to play by the rules. Okay. Let me tell you something. The, with this printing, it is not just about uh, ballot papers. Mm. The, college, uh, the, the, the pink sheets are supposed to be an account, a primary document that's supposed to take care of whatever happens at the polling station. So the number of ballot papers issued, number of uh, you know, ballot papers received and those issued to voters, the number of, um, uh, of people verified and all that are all put there. Okay. There's a session we call ballot accounting. That is where there's an indication of number of persons who are verified biometrically. And now number of persons who voted by were not verified biometrically, they were verified by uh, manual verification. Mm -hmm. Their own law provides a sample of the pink sheet. Do you know that they went about printing new documents which were not related to their law at all? 
So the document they use for the conduct of the elections, the pin sheet, mm. was different from the pin sheet that was provided for in the law. Really? Yes. And this was discovered about five days before the election. Okay. And they were printing, uh, pleading that we should allow them to use the wrong document. We said, no, they should go back, even if it meant postponement of the election, they should go back and print the right document because that is the law. Okay. So again, this is a case where the commission itself was flouting its own laws. So how can you be citing your law as a defense? Okay. So they proceeded and said that... Uh, they will, they will do, they will manufacture stamps, which will be sent to the polling stations. They will stamp uh, a column so you can write normal verified, mm. uh, biometrically and normal verified uh, manually. Okay. It never happened in 50% of the, of the polling, polling stations, stations countrywide. And you didn't raise issues? There was no issue, there was no time to even educate your party agents who had already been trained four or five days to the elections. Mm. So in the whole process, all the money we spent procuring new equipment, which they claim involved facial recognition in, and biometric verification and all that, it was a total waste Mr. because Senator, there was no record. There was no record of the number of persons verified. Mm. And I'm surprised that somebody like uh, Dr. Bosman, who addressed a press conference, Claiming that ninety percent, ninety-eight percent were verified. Where did he get the figures from? When right. the figures that has to be generated at the polling station were non-existent. You, you don't. Where did he get those? You, you things? don't seem to see anything good no, about No, I'm, I'm this speaking election. about the facts. Okay. He said we should produce evidence. Okay. They should go and produce. We have the pink sheet, mm. and fifty percent of the polling stations there was no record of persons verified at all to vote. Uh, and that is a, a, a major, major, major a fl a flaw. Mm. That, and that and, and I'm, I'm surprised that the, this didn't come up. We are saying court. that, look, the person who should mount the ballot, uh, the, 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 the dock, mm. so that he's confronted with this, okay. the court says they won't allow him to mount it. Why are you going to raise them? So that is the issue that we we're talking about. Mm. You see, come and take uh, this thing. Uh, Bosman was making another point that uh, overvoting happened in only one polling station. It's a palpable lie. Because overvoting was, was widespread. And that type of overvoting was carefully planned and implemented by Electoral Commission in Kahoot with MPP. And you know what happened? Okay. They printed, it happened during the printing, the same printing of ballot papers. Mm. When ballot papers were printed, and then, and, 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 and what do, what? They were printed and then uh, stapled into booklets. Yes. We counted some of them. And you will find out that in a lot of cases, some of the sheets, even though it's written that uh, 100 uh, ballot papers mm -hmm. in a booklet, okay. 50 ballot papers in a booklet. Mm -hmm. When you do actual counting, there may be 50, 152. When you do actual counting, there may be uh, 100 or 101. So oh, when the booklet, when, yes. you, did you raise alarm? Did yes, you, we did a complete press conference okay. that what the way they have uh, uh, compiled this mm. booklet, mm. it is going to bring big problem they, they of overvoting. The, the electoral claims. commission says their ballot uh, papers have in, uh, um, uh, what? Yes, and I'm in coming to that. I'm coming to tell okay. you that. Mm. What man doesn't know about elections? <laughs> I'm surprised that he doesn't know about elections. You see, so what happens is that when you are at a polling station and get, they give you five booklets okay. of 100, okay. it means that you have been given 100 booklets, mm -hmm. and uh, you have been given 500 ballots. Okay. Okay. Mm. So you begin issuing out. Okay. One person comes, you issue. Another person, you issue. And each another. of so, them have indexed Yes, numbers. yes. So you issue, or oh, maybe you issue about uh, three, three of the hundreds. Okay. So when you are doing ballot accounting, you assume that because the first one, the first uh, ballot paper in every book begins with one. Mm. Then the, the, the last one ends with 100. Okay. So you say that, oh, the booklet contains 100. Then you put it there. So 
when you take custody of five booklets, you know you have 500 ballot papers. But after issuing some out, when you open the box and you count those in the ballot box, and then you add the remaining ones that have not been issued, mm. you see that they are more than the total you received by maybe one or two. Okay. The reason is that some of the ballot papers have been stapled there in duplicates. So, okay. so you could count. So when there is any such confusion, mm. count the counterfoils of the ballot booklet mm. and you discover it. It happened in Senate uh, West. Mm. The bo ballot box that was in dispute, which we all proceeded to count. I stood for NDC as an agent. Mm. Damboche stood for MPP as the agent. Okay. When we did all, we counted the ballots in the box and then added to the remaining one, they were more than the ballots received by one. Mm -hmm. So MPP started raising, overvoting, 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 it must be cancelled. And I said, look, you have, you have run, gotten away with so many of these in our stronghold. This one is not on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to prove to the whole nation the fraud you perpetrated. So. I insisted that we counted the counterfoils. Mm. When we counted the counterfoils, a particular ballot paper had been re repeated with the same serial number. Serial number. Two of them. Okay. So the booklet actually contained 101 instead of 100. Mm. Because of this, many of our polling station results had been cancelled needlessly, delivering the victory to parliamentary uh, elections to MPP. Mm. When you go to uh, Boko, is it Boko? Uh, Pusiga. Pusiga. The MPP is in court now, claiming that in five polling stations, the, there's overvoting by one, there's overvoting by two, there's overvoting by this. Mm. I bet my last Peshwa, if you go and count the counterfoils, you see that it is one of the areas that they intentionally added a duplicate. A, a, a ballot paper with the same numbers and so on, and when you count that, there is no problem. Mm -hmm. But they are insisting that because of that, uh, some uh, results in some election areas should be cancelled, giving victory to them. So all these things were carefully but, but, planned but, and executed by electoral commission. Mm. So they cannot now, come and... But, uh, but of course, uh, your uh, former president, Mahama, yes. uh, says that the, uh, I mean, is the worst election yes. that ever happened. Yes. Monitors who took the pain, uh, people, observers who mm -hmm. monitored the election, mm -hmm. the uh, CODEO, mm -hmm. CDD, mm -hmm. EU observers, mm -hmm. all of them said yes they agree there were some challenges but i mean to the larger extent the election was there was improvement it's on it, the 2016 the elections court itself the supreme the court itself has In, ruled that election is a process okay election is not all about what happens on the december 7th the election day mm. you can rig the elections Far ahead of the election day. Okay, but, and but nobody has an independent body I'm who also that, monitor the election. You elections. can only How comment that on what the NDC you can only comment on what, what you have it. monitored. You can only comment on what you have monitored. Okay. How many of the observers were in the printing room for the ballot papers that we are talking about? Mm. How many of them? Nobody. You understand? Mm. Mm. So they can just come and monitor a session or a segment of the elections. You understand? Tell me, where in the world do you have filing of nominations taking place when the final voters register has not been completed? And then you hold, you file nominations based on some old register, and then you conduct the elections on a totally different register. Mm. That tells you about the quality of the elections. Those are the benchmarks. Now, go and look before election takes place. There must be a, an election rule, which is one of the most critical aspects. And that when we talk about election rule, it is the voters register. Mm. So if you have the election rule wrong, then you cannot have a credible election. Okay. And we have raised issues by the, uh, uh, about the compilation of the voters register. Mm. And we, we elect, the, the Supreme Court was forced to, in defense of electoral commission, to issue very absurd rulings like uh, citizens' birth certificate 
is not an attestation for citizenship. Mm. But when you convert the birth certificate into a passport, the passport then becomes an identity document. Very absurd. Now, and be, uh, because they were working towards protecting electoral commission's actions, and so they walked themselves into that absurdity. So you come to, uh, uh, um, you know, the, 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 the demarcation of electoral, you know, zones. Mm. That is the most, imp uh, one of the most important functions of electoral commission. Mm. When you look at Article 45 of our Constitution, the first function of the Electoral Commission is to compile the voters' register, mm -hmm. capture, capture everybody who is 18 years and above yeah. in the voters' list. Mm -hmm. We have told you about their shortcomings in that area. Mm. The next one is to demarcate the country into constituencies. They fail there to woefully. Worse than any Electoral Commission that has ever happened in this country. Mm. Because for the first time in the history of Ghana, you have elections happening where a whole area of the country did not participate. And so therefore, they are not represented at all in the parliament of the Republic of Ghana, yet they are citizens. How can they be taxation without representation? Are they, the people of SAL, are they still paying taxes? Somebody should tell me. Mm -hmm. So if electoral commission failed in this second aspect too, how can they be jumping over rooftops claiming that this is the best election? And I said that, look, but for the fact that they, they, they had impugned the integrity of uh, President Mahama, I wouldn't bother to continue this debate at all because I take the view that it is wrong for a leopard to be, to be arguing with a donkey. Really? You understand? So I had stopped. And it has been, it's tried knowledge mm. that don't argue with the fool. People will not know the difference. So I had taken the, 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 the thing that there are certain people, all they want to have in an argument is that you have won and not the fact that has prevailed. So if you have people like that, baiting you into argument, you leave them to steam in their own problems. But don't you think you, you have see? also aided in this argument? Like the, the, I said from the beginning, you've seen people committing criminality and you are quiet over it. We have gone to court, a Supreme Court. How many times didn't we go to Supreme Court? The Supreme Court, we have come to the conclusion that the Supreme Court is not prepared to protect our democracy. How? That is the truth. Because, because they explain to they, you they, why they, they are not, that They ruling. are not prepared to protect the integrity of our constitution. Because listen, the constitution itself tells you that um, when there is a by-election, for instance, mm. occasioned by death of a candidate, the by-election must be held within 60 days, black and white in the constitution. Mm -hmm. If it is occasioned by resignation, it must be held within 30 days. Ayawa so West Wogon by election happened. Electoral Commission proceeded to fix a date 72 days after the occurrence of the vacancy. Mm. We took the matter to Supreme Court. What did the court say? Complete violation of the Constitution. What did the court say? And so you, you follow you have through this. So you see, appeal. the problem of our democracy is not about a bad Electoral Commission. Because a bad electoral, you can live with a bad electoral commission when the courts are upright. Mm. But when you have courts that are ailing, it is worse than electoral commission. It is more harmful to a democracy than a wrong electoral but commission. But the courts give because you if reasons, there is a problem in their judgment, they give you reasons why <laughs> they give that. those judgments. I'm saying that. Uh, why? Are you saying that a criminal does not have reasons for killing? But I mean, they that's, always that's have reasons for killing. So please, whether those reasons make sense, it's another matter. It's not the fact that they gave reasons. Mm. Whether those reasons make sense, it's another matter. So my sister, in all this, you can only conclude based on the face of the evidence that this has been the worst elections 
Ever. With, with the cost of elections, the Electoral Commission has been responding to, and it says that it has actually saved this nation. Who has audited? Who has audited their account? Compared to you, you see, your, that the is previous the most, elections. That is the most laughable aspects of their press conference completely. You have gone to undertake an activity. Nobody has audited you. Your figures are not available to anybody. Then you cook your own figures and come and stand on television bragging. Where is the auditor's report about electoral commission's work? Maybe Where? you should tell us. It hasn't well, happened. They are bragging that they are accountable to a, a, a committee in parliament. Who told them that it is the committee they are accountable to? Who told them? And when have they rendered uh, that account to the committee? Mm. They are getting everything wrong. And I, 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 so I, you still at times, you, I have my doubts whether Bosman actually taught university students. You, you still think that... Because he doesn't you, understand you, what accountability You still think means. that the Electoral Commission spent more money than uh, previous the, elections? The debate is not there at all. Okay. Let me tell you what. You can spend... Just one million cities on the elections in Ghana. Do you know what you will do? You just print pinches, hire people to fill them in, and then proceed to announce results. That will be the cheapest elections. Mm. But is that the qualitative election? So when you are talking about the quality of elections, you cannot justify the quality of election by the amount you spend on the election. There are two different things. When you come to talk about the cost of election, it's a completely different ball game. You don't mix the two together. Mm. You are being accused that you allow the wrong person to be named as a, a, having the mandate of the people by subverting the people's mandate. You are talking about uh, uh, the fact that we have reduced costs, so which costs nobody had testified. So tomorrow, has the electoral, has the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The account, uh, Auditor General. Mm. Have they audited their accounts? All right, so. Nobody has audited their accounts. So, so why are you bracket, uh, uh, brandishing, sole sourcing, uh, you know, accounting figures which are not known, even at IPAC when you are asked, how much did you spend on ABC? You say we are not accountable. But you can demand are for they, that document. Are they telling you? us? Are you, they telling us? If they are properly wearing their thinking caps, I don't see any professor who will stand on television to say that they are only accountable to a small committee in parliament and nobody else in Ghana. You can, and then you, you are saying that have, people have, have, who participated in an election, you supervise. Mr. If they are Mr. asking questions about your judgment, have, then you say that I cannot have, explain anything to you. I will go and explain to a third party who did not participate in the election. You, you can what actually request for that document so that you can do the what, comparison. What document? Because they there is no document. On the, the costs, they have the receipts and ah, everything so that if is you, spent. So if you compile your, your accounts, why is it that when the company compiles account? You wait for auditors before you determine the tax liability of that company. All right. Because the person so, is preparing the accounts. He will put the information he wants there. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So that cannot be an authentic document. Okay. We deal with audited accounts. Okay. Political parties file audited accounts with the Electoral Commission. All we right. don't just go to IPAC to say that we spend so much on campaigning. We spend this, we spend this. So Electoral Commission is expected to take that. Yes. So, that is not official document. So, so tomorrow there's a press conference you're going to be holding. Are you going to the police straight after the press conference or you are I going am to the police that station this before criminal the press matter conference? will be dealt with. Okay, how? Or we will report to the police. So if uh, electoral commission having committed or could knife with the printing house to do this, they turn around to say that they are reporting somebody to the police. We will tell them we know the police. So you have the evidence, right? I have shown you the two. All right. I have shown you the, the two certificates. So you show the Tell us, boss man, to come and display the first certificate, evidencing the conclusion of the printing and the destruction of extra ballot papers. Mm. How come that after that there was printing, mm. which has occasioned this issue of the second certificate? Tell them. Come and talk about, uh, uh, you know, Kofuridia. Mm. Just one minute. Okay. You know, Kofuridia, there was an issue about uh, the regional collation. Mm. They did two different collation sheets. When they were responding 
uh, in writing to us in court, they sought to justify the two sheets by saying that uh, the first one, which was signed by political parties, mm. it was later found to be wrong because it did not include the results of some polling, uh, some constituencies, right? Mm. And so when they found it and corrected it, and they called our agents to come and sign, our agents refused to sign. If that story is to be believed, then which of the two documents must come first? Mm. Is it not the wrong one that must come first so that the corrected one will come second? Mm. Go and look at the time those documents came to the National Coalition Center. The first one that came was the one they are describing as corrected. It came 9 a.m. on the 8th of January. Okay. The corrected one. And the original one they claim was wrong came at 6 p.m. on the 8th. So which is going to correct which? It tells you that Electoral Commission had pre-programmed certain results with which they were doing their declarations and they were just adding finding evidence to support what they had already pre-programmed to declare. So we insist that this election was the worst that ever happened. And posterity will not forgive a Supreme Court for the role they played in covering up for this uh, fraudulent activity. I'm grateful for your time. I see Edwin Ketia is the General Secretary of the uh, NDC and he says tomorrow there'll be a press conference to address this and he says they're going all out to bring in the police to investigate this. Now plant breeding professor at the University of Ghana Eric Dankwa is challenging African governments to increase investments in science, technology and innovation as a sure way to boost food security on the continent. He says without substantial investments in science, the continent will continue to struggle to feed itself. Professor Dankwa, who is also founding director of the West Africa Center for Crop Improvement at the University of Ghana, has been speaking at the annual conference of the African Plant Breeders Association in Rwanda.